Welcome back to this short series, or welcome to this short series. It's about transmitting on one wire, and in the first couple of videos, I successfully managed 576 feet, basically from one side of the property to the other. What we're going to be looking at this time is water, and it comes from watching videos by John Wynn, and uh, the way that he's been able to quite elegantly get an LED to run in water, and has prompted these experiments to, to further it all. I'd also like to thank RoboArc for pointing out that these are BACs, big ass coils, which he uh, yes, informed me I said about half a dozen times in the last video. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is to try this water here and see if we can get one wire transmission through it and what that looks like. In fact, I've just had an idea. I've put these side by side. I was going to put this one underneath and then show it, but Sure enough, we're getting a bit of one wire transmission just with that one sat next to the other. Anyway, first thing we'll do is we'll attach this screwdriver instead to the end. And of course I've fluffed the video up, haven't I, because I've got this sitting at the side. But we did get a little bit of transmission when it was holding on to the LED. So let's keep it like that. We've got that going into the water now. This is just regular tap water. And I do wonder, <laughs> yes we do, you can see that LED will light up. Alright, so one coil is on top of the other, and that's how the setup will be staying for the rest of the experiments. But I'll be taking it outside, because, if you have a look at this now, and I've just tried it, you get that amount of light there, move it all the way to the end, and it's still the same. You can see there's no change wherever it is in the water. And I wonder if that will have something to do with the grounding outside of the lake. Just another experiment first though. Right, here we are, and what I've done is I've put a, another screwdriver at the end of this one, run across with a clip lead over to this glass of water. And as you can see, the LED is most definitely on. So that removes the idea of using the body as a virtual ground. And it's working quite well just with that water but you see we've got two different bits of water and that's what's making me think down at the lake so let's let's go down there and do some experiments so we're now down at the dock on the lake here's a quick overview of what the area looks like and here's the system now what i've got is that same screwdriver i've wrapped some 30 gauge around it put it through this so it can hopefully float I don't know if it will yet and then the end of the wire goes to the circuit if I use this AV plug we can see that it lights when it's touched to the screwdriver so I'm going to put that screwdriver into the water and then probably stand on the bank somewhere and see if we can pick up any energy this would be absolutely more than fascinating if anything happens Alright, so let's lower this down. I've made a mistake because all that's going to be supporting it is the wire on the screwdriver. Um, I don't think I've done this very well, but I'm just going to try and pop the thing down. There. It's at least got in the water, even if it doesn't come out. Right. Now let's take this, see if we can get any energy. Just in case this works the camera going. And unfortunately not. Unfortunately not because I suppose the water itself is grounded and so we're knocking out any effects. Look at them fish. Huh, tiny little fish in there. Well at least they're not fried, we know that much. But uh, yeah, unfortunately with the lake there's nothing. Next, I expect people want to see me try and take this back out again. I hope we've not got a floating screwdriver forevermore. Oh my. Right, if we do this slowly. No, oh, it's, it's, no, it's tearing off it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> right, you can see 
I take the screwdriver out, it's only wrapped round. So that didn't work out, but as we enjoyed the sunset, it gave me a thought, and that is, if the water is such a ground, works great as a ground, it stopped that energy there, then we can do the same by using it in the long distance single wire experiments. So over there, straight ahead, is where I've got that 30 gauge wire running to, and I could use the outlet small stream to ground, instead of using the now dried out ground itself, the earth itself, because of the hot weather, or using the car alternator. So I'll do that next. Right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if the system will transmit the 576 feet to the other end. So I've connected up the red wire to the 30 gauge wire that leads off all the way over there. And if you've not seen these videos before, I've done a couple of them. I've been generally making the wire longer, trying different things for all this distance. Okay, here we are at the big pine tree, and you can see the route in front goes off right into the distance. And I'll bring you back again at that tree you can see in front. Here we are near that tree, and hopefully you can see the shine from the sun on the single wire as it carries on past the tree and to the end where the wire goes to this car alternator and also to this LED which you can see is on so that's the first good heavens who is that <laughs> quite a big splash from the lake and that ties into the next part, which is I want to see if the water makes a difference in transmission. Right, so I've been back to the house, brought a couple of things down. I've got this clip and I've got a wire with a piece of copper. So I'm going to trundle this little reel out into the water down there. If there is water down there, I'd best go and check, hadn't I? I've got my Wellingtons on. Partly because of snakes, because uh, we do have a few. I'm not entirely sure that the water is still coming through because of the dry weather. Oh yeah, we've got a bit. Oh, a few fish too. What I would like to try before the lake test itself is just a glass of water, see if that does anything. And you can see the LED there, and uh, not much going on <laughs> at all. So if I drop the end, the so-called grounding end, <laughs> just straight in like this, do we get anything? And yes we do, it is, it is, it's working a little bit. But I think we'll do much better by plugging straight into the lake, so we'll do that. I've connected the clip lead to it, so I'll run this down now and see. And the answer is no, not quite. But it doesn't mean I can't move the wire over that way. After all, we don't need the car alternator anymore, hopefully. Right, it still wasn't quite long enough, so I decided to ditch the piece of copper and instead to use the infamous screwdriver, because at least it floats and the copper I'd have had to stick into the ground. So it's floating in the water. Let's see if this works. Over to, there we are. <laughs> yeah, nice and bright actually. That works very well. And to round out these experiments, I've got the screwdriver in the water. I swapped over a single LED for 10 LEDs in series. And they're also on an AV plug. And there we go. There we go, lit up 10 of them. So I'm very pleased with all of this and thanks very much for watching.